Guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have the two confirmed players dropping tomorrow for Ultimate Legends. We also are gonna take a quick look at the out of position, but let me know down below will you guys pick up any of these two Ultimate Legends in this video. And at the end of the video, we're gonna go into Ultimate Team and open up our weekly fancy packs. Hopefully, we can pull something good. Wish me some good luck in the comment section. But don't forget, if you guys want to stay updated, anything Madden related, make sure you guys follow me on my socials. Don't forget to show this video some love. Leave a comment down below. And let's jump into it. So our first Ultimate Legend that's confirmed to drop tomorrow right here on the screen. Nice and overall, Bryant McKinney. Left tackle, right above he did play for three teams, the Vikings, the Ravens, and the Dolphins. Before we jump to the stats, make sure you guys go to your challenges and do your challenges if you guys want to have a chance to receive a free Ultimate Legend. I'll show you guys what it looks like right here on the screen. I've been trying to stay updated updated with it every single week, even though doing challenges at this point in Madden is really boring, in my personal opinion. Not a bad way to level up and get some good XP. But at the end of the day, if you guys want free Ultimate Legend, go do this. Now, back to the player. I mean, for any old lineman, I feel like it depends, right? If these old linemen fit for your theme team, you know, and you guys have the training, power them up. But me personally, I'm done powering up old linemen because they're so expensive. Right when they're like 97, 98, and 99, I'm just going to add them to my squad stock unless they have played for the Raiders 50-50 uh, theme team I'm running. Then I'll power them up so I can add that team camp. But at the end of the day, this card stock is really good. If you guys pull him or if you guys can afford him, definitely suggest it really good. Right above, the most important stats in my personal opinion is the passing and the running. 97 run block, 96 run block power, 96 run block finesse. So you really can't complain about that. You know, if you guys power them up, everything is plus one. 97 run block, 96 run block power, 94 run block finesse. At the end of the day, not a bad old lineman at all. Besides Steam Team, you guys need a good old lineman to give your quarterback the best, you know, amount of time and chance to stay in the pocket without no pressure. But a W card, hopefully it doesn't go for that much because I do need left tackle. But let me know down below. Will you guys pick him up, yes or no? Second ultimate legend dropping tomorrow right here on the screen. Ed Two Tall Jones, left end speed rusher. I'm not going to lie, in this promo, the ultimate legends, there's a lot of good left end and right ends that actually have really good speed. So for theme team purposes, these cards are even better. I mean, if you guys power him up, he has 95. And then with team camps, he has 97 speed for a left end or right end. Not bad at all. I mean, 94 speed, can't complain. Even better powered up. And with team cams, 92 acceleration, 90 strength, 90 tackling, 95 play organization. But where it matters, in my personal opinion, it's all the block sheddings, right? So 95 block shedding, 94 power move, and 97 finesse move. I mean, for left ends and right ends, what you guys want in my world, on my team, you guys need all the shedding. So all three, it checks out, right? And the speed, really, really good. At the end of the day, Highly suggest to get yourself one of the left ends or right ends in this promo just because they're really good. Not to mention, if you guys put them on the QB spy, they're fast enough to chase Michael Vick. Hopefully they make the tackle, but at the end of the day, this left end is really, really good. And before we jump into my two weekly fancy packs, elite fancy packs, these are the out of positions. Now, I feel like these out of position players, they're not too good, but at the end of the day, for theme team purposes, these are cool, fun cards. Let me know what your thoughts down below. I know I had a couple people tell me it's like 50-50. Some people think that out of position players are, is fun and cool. Other ones is like, bro, this is some bullshit. What the fuck is this EA? We want better promos and better players. But let me know your thoughts down below. I feel like they're all right as long as there's not another quarterback that's crazy speed and the meta abilities. I'm fine with it, right? If we don't have that, I guess it's all right and I guess it's cool. But right here on the screen, Brighton McKinney. He does get all the team chemistries that he's played for in the past. So I just showed you guys that. 89 speed, so pretty slow um, for free safety. I'm not going to lie. 88 man coverage, pretty bad. 95 zone coverage and 91 hit power. Overall, I feel like these out of positions are really good for theme team purposes. And wide receiver deep threat. Ed Tutal Jones, a lot better for a Cowboys 50-50 theme team. 93 speed and where it matters is 88 short route running, 94 medium, a 95 deep out running. Not bad. Only good and only usable, in my personal opinion, for a theme team. But besides that, I wouldn't pick it up. I'm just being honest. 93 speed stock, pretty slow, in my personal opinion. So jumping into my weekly fantasy packs, hopefully I pull something good. If not, hopefully I pull like an elite player that can quick sell for a good amount of coins. 
But if you guys are for, for watching this far into the video, bruh, let me know down below when you guys play Madden, you know, like head to head or weekly. Do you guys listen to music? Yes or no? Guys, you know, I got like the Fast and Furious playlist. I got the Back in Blood. Man, this playlist, this song is really good right here, man. I'm telling you what, when I play head to head or any online game, I'm always listening to music, trying to lock in, trying to win because who plays online trying to lose? Oh. No. Let, yo, guys, also, too, let me know down below. Do you guys pull anything good out of these packs? Please give me a good overall. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to quick sell these. I spend $10 every week on my credit card, which I'm responsible with on this this is like my 10 percent of my usage let's all, let's open up the other one um i did exit out before i closed it so i don't know what i got hopefully we get something good honestly and i got that pack you know you know what we're gonna open up that pack i got that from weekend league only play like 15 games what do we get full legend no nah. hell no i think he i think this guy quick josh Lambo sells for a good amount. 50? 56? Not bad. Okay. Let's on, let's open up this one. Unexpected, but hopefully we can pull something good, dude. I don't need that animation. I need a good one. No. EA, why are you gonna show me the overall before anything? Wow. That was an L of an pack, but overall. <laughs> I have another one? I did not know. I only thought I had one. If this is a glitch, hopefully the glitch continues. Something good. Come on. Come on. No. 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 What the? Damn. EA, give me something good. Uh, GG's. We didn't pull anything good. But let me know down below. Did you guys pull anything good? From your weekly fancy packs. Those are the only packs I really buy every week. Besides that, you guys already know Beast of Rod does not spend any other money in these packs because I never pull anything. You guys just saw for proof. And let me know down below what you guys pick up and the two Ultimate Legends in this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know down below what other content, what other videos you guys want to see on this channel. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Make sure you guys go work out, go get a pump because I went to the gym before making this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.